Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh, we want to thank you for coming at very short notice. Uh, we were last together at Jov Center on Tuesday, and there are several developments that have taken place today. The Azmio leadership, led by our leader, uh, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, would wish to address the nation on these uh, matters of vital national importance. But as you are aware, since Tuesday, we did yesterday present our notice uh, to the uh, commander uh, Nairobi region, Buana Bungei. We were there with the Honorable Oparanya, the Honorable Kioni, and the Honorable Wajakoya. The 20th demonstrations, Buana Bungei said he had not been given proper notice. He had not been given three days clear notice. We took this responsibility yesterday to give him a clear five days notice and those notices have been circulated across, across all, all the police stations, stations. so, so he, has he has no, no excuse whatsoever, whatsoever uh, but, but to provide security on uh, monday, monday and thursday, and thursday when, when we'll be holding our, our demonstrations. demonstrations and their, and their role as the police would really, really be to facilitate to provide security for all demonstrators, demonstrators We'll be, we'll be holding peaceful, peaceful demonstrations, demonstrations on, on Monday, Monday and on Thursday. Thursday. And, it, and is it is my honor and privilege now to invite, invite our leader to come and address the nation, the Right Honorable Ray Odinga. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we have a, a statement which I'm going to read. Fellow Kenyans, several important developments have taken place since we last addressed the nation two days ago. First, a section of the clergy has called on Azimio Laomoja to call off protests and instead engage in talks with Mr. William Ruto. Our answer to the clergy is in the gospel of John chapter 8, verse 32, which says, and I quote, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free, unquote. All that Azimio is looking for with regard to electoral justice is the truth. The truth includes the opening of the servers for a forensic audit of the election results. Tangible actions by the regime to lower the cost of living, restoring the subsidies on fuel, electricity, education, and food, stopping the unilateral reconstitution of the IBC, reinstating the four IBC commissioners, and ending the tribalization of the public service appointments and cancelling the appointments of 51 CCAS or CASs that has no constitutional basis. We are aware that the regime is moving ahead to privatize state parastatals without the authority of parliament. We call on our members of parliament to stand firmly against this illegality to give away crucial national assets without public oversight. Secondly, Mr. Ezra Chiloba, the Executive Director of the Communications Authority of Kenya, CAC, issued an illegal and unconstitutional order censoring the media and threatening sanctions for their truthful reporting of our demonstrations. We agree with Democrats around the globe that the democracy dies in darkness. With this action, Mr. Ruto is opening the full dictator's playbook to kill Kenya's democracy. 
we in Azimio will not and cannot allow Ruto to take us to the dark days of yesterday. Thirdly, Kenya Kwanzaa has continued to claim that all we are looking for is a handshake. We emphatically refute these unfounded rumors that we are protesting to improve the lives of Kenyans because we want a handshake. This is an insult to the intelligence of Kenyans. We cannot and we will not participate in handshake with an illegitimate regime. We condemn in the strongest terms possible the illegal arrest of minority leaders, Honorable P. Wandai and Honorable Justice Stuart Mazayo, alongside fellow MPs, MCAs, and activists who have been charged before a, a ATPU court in Kahawa Law Court with, with false allegations. This is anti-terrorism uh, court. These patriotic Kenyans who have been arrested have done nothing wrong. We demand that the charges be dropped unconditionally with immediate effect. Further, following consultations with stakeholders, we have agreed to call off our boycott of the Star newspaper. Instead, we have filed a complaint with the Media Council of Kenya on the paper's biases. Finally, finally, we call upon all patriotic Kenyans to come out in large numbers on Monday, 27th March 2023 in Nairobi for the month of all demonstrations and to do so peacefully. Dated this is the third day of March 2023. Now, having done that, I want to add that we have very authentic information that on Tuesday evening, the Mr. Rigadi Gachagua convened a meeting at his residence in Karen. In attendance was Mr. Mr. Kamoi Chungwa and also Mr. Nidijor. They had invited several youth from different parts of the country to that meeting. And that meeting turned out to be a strategy session to plan to counter the demonstrators on Monday. The plan, according to information we have, is that these youth are going to be given uniforms similar to those of the MDD, our movement, the movement for, for defense of democracy. Then they will mix with our youth and accompany them throughout the demonstration. But at the end of it, they are going to be armed. They are going to be carrying not only stones, not knives, pangas, which will be disguised, but they will also be having weapons, guns. And then they will shoot, they will stone, they will knife, and the aim is to kill over 1,000 people. And then they're going to now make a case that there's a bloodbath and try to send those who are leaders of Azimio to ICC. We want to condemn in the strongest terms possible this kind of nefarious criminal plans by these people 
to try to cause mayhem and bloodshed in our country. We have said ourselves that we are a peaceful movement. We don't want any bloodshed. And we want to urge Mr. Gachago and his people that the plans you are trying to make are ill and they will fail. We are peaceful people and we want only peace. Thank <laughs> you. 